Our top story tonight, a fugitive arrested in Norfolk. The 22-year-old man had been on the run for shooting into a home and injuring a child. But tonight he's in the Norfolk jail and 10 on your side's Brandy Cummings spoke to a deputy U.S. Marshal about the arrest. Brandy? Well, Anita Stephanie, police say the suspect had only been on the run for a week before he was arrested and is now facing three felonies. Well, any crime involving a shooting, especially where a minor child was injured, is, is certainly serious. Three bullet holes show where police say 22-year-old Kazar Jones shot through the screen door into an apartment one week ago. Witnesses tell 10 on your side a group of people were inside the home on Nicholson Street when they heard gunshots. Police say a bullet grazed the head of a six-year-old. Witnesses say he was sitting on the couch at the time. In this case, this was, ob this was uh, obviously a very violent act, so U.S. Marshals Fugitive Task Force adopted the case. Although not saying why specifically, Norfolk police did tell 10 on your side they frequently work with the U.S. Marshals to capture fugitives. For crimes of this nature, the U.S. Marshals Fugitive Task Force will often get involved for crimes that are uh, meet a certain level of violence, sex offenders, or individuals that have crossed state lines. Our criteria alone, if an individual even shot into a house, we would go looking at, we would go looking for that fugitive. Furthermore, if a child was involved, that kind of makes this fugitive more of a priority. Deputy U.S. Marshal Chris Luer tells Tin on Your Side they've been looking for Jones around Hampton Roads over the last week. Then last night, they caught him on Nevada Avenue. We observed a vehicle of interest pull into the driveway of a address that we were watching. We positively identified Jones as one of the occupants of the vehicle, and moments later, we took him into custody without incident. Now, this is not Jones' first run in with law enforcement. 10 on your side found, according to online court records, Jones was charged with a misdemeanor in 2012. Again, in 2014, he was facing three traffic charges, but the Portsmouth Commonwealth's Attorney's Office says those charges were dismissed. Records show in May of this year, Jones was cited for having a controlled substance and was scheduled to appear in court next month. But tonight, he remains in the Norfolk jail. I'm Brandy Cummings, 10 on your side.